Former President Rodrigo Duterte attended the Senate hearing on the country's war on illegal drugs and answered many of the allegations against him. At some point, the former chief executive was seemingly about to confirm the existence of a group that for so long has been linked to him by many of his detractors, but immediately retracted his statement when pressed further to clarify. Daniel Manalastas tells us more. Former President Rodrigo Duterte and former Senator Laila de Lima, known to be nemesis to each other, were just were a seat apart during the Senate Blue Ribbon Subcommittee hearing on the war on illegal drugs in the previous administration. Duterte faced the senators for the first time to explain. Do not question my policies because I offer no apologies, no excuses. I did what I had to do for all of its successes and shortcomings. I and I alone take full legal responsibility. Sa lahat na nagawa ng mga polis, pursuant to my order, ako ang managot. Dilema, meanwhile, also hit the former president. This man the former mayor of uh, Davao City and the former president of the Republic of the Philippines for so long have evaded justice and accountability for the thousands of those killed in the name of the so-called war on drugs. Hindi pa ho natin siya napapanagot after all these years. Meanwhile, there was also a tension between Duterte and Senator Risa Honteveros. It went high during the senator's line of questioning over the death of Kian De Los Santos, a teenager and alleged victim of the previous administration's illegal drugs war. Do you assume responsibility for the death of Kian De Los Santos? No. No. The specific ang law. Guilt is personal. Tanong ka muna ng abogado. Okay lang po. Kayang-kaya kong magtanong sa abogado. Sige, itanong ko po. The two continued to trade barbs during the hearing as Hontiveros continued to grill the former president on his controversial war on drugs. So, thank you for making that of record. Kung pakialam sa kriminal kung saan silang impernong gusto nilang pumunta. Well, Mr. Chair, for the record... You make your own history in this planet. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yun ang gusto nilang mangyari. Doon sila, doon sila sa impyerno. At doon tayo magkita. At doon tayo pupunta. Well, wala po akong ambisyon pumuntang impyerno pa. Duterte, meanwhile, dropped this truth bomb during the Senate probe. I can make the confession now, if you want. Mr. Chair. Talagang niyayari ko. Meron akong death squad. Death squad. Pito, pero hindi yung mga polis. Sila rin yung mga gangster. Nabanggit nyo, may sarili kayo ngayong tinayo na hit squad. Hindi naman death squad. Basta alam ng tao sa Dabao na nandyan ako. The families of alleged drug war victims also face the senators. Ang sabi po doon sa statement ay yung tatay daw po at yung uncle ay kilala sa aming lugar na siga, kinatatakutan at nagbebenta ng droga at ginagamit po si Kian De Los Santos bilang tagapagbenta nito. Marahil po ang malisyoso at maling pagbibintang na ito ay nakaapekto po sa amin. It is expected that more hearings will be conducted regarding the illegal drugs war. Daniela Manalastas from the National TV for a new and better Philippines.